What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, and welcome back to another episode of Metal Gear Rising. That's why there was no outro for the first episode. I tried to continue playing onward, but of course, the recording would glitch during a cutscene, <laughs> which we're about to see. At least the game checkpoint us after we got a tally from the first mission or whatever. Although I'm not sure if I'm going to make every episode a chapter. I might, but I might just split each chapter into two parts, depending on how long it takes. I know one thing, I'm definitely going to have to keep my eye on the recording. Let's see if it's glitching or not. Because if it glitches at the wrong moment, I'm screwed. <laughs> and I'll have to quite literally play through everything else. Everything else again. I'm really hoping that won't happen. I thought, let's just continue. So good. I've got a clean visual. A direct V to your optic nerve. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikon? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? is a combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mics out and closing. Good no activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have served no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsaev, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Mani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is jet stream sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country. But keep an eye out just in... 
Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. I guess it's because we were lost in the uh, I don't actually pay too much attention to that actually till now. So I actually just got that. You landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Solidan radar. Contact us on Kodak if you have questions. So then. That's a little extra lot of these. That you can just... Listen to. They do tend to take quite a while. I'll probably listen to a handful of them. But before we even do any of that... Uh, whatever. Why not? Control, it's right. I'm on the ground. Copy, Ryder. Glad to hear it. Entering on foot was the right move. That craft isn't equipped with stealth camo. Or octo camo, obviously, since that would be useless in midair. And we wouldn't want to get your pricey new jet damage, now would we? Duh. The MQ-133C was not cheap to manage. <laughs> now, keep alert. According to Intel, you could find significant cyborg deployment here. If you were to be cornered by an entire squad, it might get... difficult, even for you. Understood. Some fighting will be necessary, though. I've got electrolytes to replenish. Hmm. This is not an infiltration mission. There is no need to hide or avoid combat outright, huh? Just do not get reckless. Stay safe and stay focused on your mission. So then. Looks like a war zone out here. The palace cleared out quick when Dolzaev's men showed up. The streets got pretty hot after that. We're definitely gonna see a few civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most of them got out of the city before things got bad. They've basically got control of the entire town, and are using the refinery as their HQ. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Keep in mind, those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. That's, uh... How we doing, Courtney? You're looking good on our end. GPS and audio-visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar, check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? Uh, why not? And save complete. Simple, huh? Copy. And glad to hear you're okay after Africa. That ambush was no joke. <laughs> Tell me about it. Three armored vehicles should have been plenty for that job. And it would have been against any typical guerrilla force. I keep asking myself, where would an anti imani faction get the cash to hire cyborgs? It just doesn't add up. Maybe there's some intel I missed. A lead I should have followed up on. Maybe if I reacted faster or coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. Put it behind you and move on. <sighs> You're right. Thanks. Aiden, 
Shall we review the capabilities of your new... Copy that. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. Fuel electrolyte absorption and self-repair from C's nanopaste. Precisely. First, electrolyte absorption. This is simplicity itself. As your HF blade is linked directly to your fuel cells, simply cut into any source of electrolytes. Say, a hostile cyborg made up of CNT muscle fiber. And your fuel cells will recharge on their own. Rather elegant, wouldn't you say? I would indeed. It's been great so far. But, ah, uh, the repair process is a bit more uh, involved. A bit more messy, you might say. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Once extracted, you need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome, I realize. But then you Americans enjoy a bit of gore, don't you? I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Oh? Hmm. Well, yes, I suppose I could understand that, given your history. But what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. No nation. No ethnic group. I'm my own man. Anyway, I seem to recall those gory torture porn movies were pretty popular in Germany, too. Indeed. Indeed. These splatter films are big in Germany, Russia, Japan, everywhere. Well, everywhere except regions afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know? Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to delude themselves into thinking they have overcome their fears. This... Okay, uh, okay, Doc. I, I got the gist. Let's save the full psych lecture for some other time, though, huh? Yeah, that would be enough of that for now. Although, before we actually do continue, I do want to say that this game is actually my first introduction into the Metal Gear series. Even though I believe this is considered like a spinner. I think. Oh god, that's like still my first introduction to this actual series. I haven't really gotten into it past this game though. I just haven't bothered to go around to checking out any of the other games. Whether it be playing or watching. Regardless, let's just continue. But before that, let's see if we can what? manually save. Yes. Just right so we don't have to redo that. I wanted to follow up on our talk earlier about the stress that comes with the job. PMC work can be traumatic, even for non combatants. If the pressure ever gets to be too much, have one of the ex-military there take over. Just... I'm not doing that, Raiden. PMCs wield massive influence over international affairs. Abolishing SOP didn't change that. They need a better understanding of what they're mixed up in. The, the laws, politics, local cultures. Ex-military aren't here to provide that. They can't. We need civilian voices like mine here, too. You're right. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. Africa was more than enough excitement for one lifetime. It's a good thing that limo was armored. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'd now be the world's clumsiest cyborg. Hey! Cyborg Courtney could have been your partner. I thought it saved your ass. How? By spilling coffee all over the enemy? <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not that... Oh, son of a... Please tell me that was a joke. 
I'm guessing she spilled coffee. I'll get to hear her talk one more time at least. Yeah, there's a lot of those, I have no idea. I mean, those are even uh, in the game. Oh, hey, there's a cat here. I never noticed there was a cat in this game. Cute. And we can actually break these stairs. And those pillars as well. Making it extremely hard to get up here. I definitely made that mistake once. Just let's see. These bastards are using stealth camo to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? To barricade coming here, throw out your own barrage of weapons and really your own defensive. Right, whenever you engage in battle, I will designate a battle area for you. Stay within the area to avoid collateral damage. You gotta love it the way he does it though. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Hmm? Yeah, they still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by an... But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, right? Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. I know there's a B rank, alright. Seems like we have access to some more tutorials. Yeah, there are a lot of VR tutorials in this game. And I know damn well I'm not good enough to try and do them all. I know that, but... I think it just saved, didn't it? Pretty sure. Raiden, you'll need to head inland. But first, Make your way through this building. Something. Raiden, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. That's fine, job Zelda. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city. Cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. So thing.
At this one, I'm just trying to figure out some controls. Uh, I, mm, I'm not sure if we can actually use that on the yet. Because that's what I'm trying to figure out again. Yeah. Is there anything else around here though? Doesn't seem like it. Ryzen, if you ever get lost, use augment mode to check your next objective. By using augment mode, you can see enemy positions and the direction in which you should head. Useful for when you cannot find your objective on the solid tone radar. Good to know. Oh, good to remember. Yeah, I tend to like to look around for what if I can pick up. Because chances are I'll need them. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind. So then... Where is he? Oh, yeah. Grab that. So far I'm surprised this episode is recording actually decently. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. I think we actually have to go save them. And I definitely remember having trouble with that. Oh, we got him at least. Oh, he's turning around. Let's see if we can try and sneak up behind him. The more we can take out stealthily, the better. I tend to suck at that, so we'll see how that works. This plan works. Grab that. How would we get over there? We'll just do this. Not close enough to actually attack him though. Oh, 
I am actually impressing myself here. Yeah. I'm surprised I'm doing this good stealthily. I usually tend to butcher extremely quick. So that's a surprise. Let's see if we can hit back up. Wait, there's something here? I grab that then. Oh, that's how we do it. Alright, alright. And that's all we can really do for now. I L2. Okay. I don't think I usually use those though. I tend to take my sweet <laughs> Clearly all those sits gonna hit the fan anyway. Now let's just see if we can walk behind them. Doubtful. <laughs> yeah. That figures. I hate these things too by the way. It's still time is over then, I guess. I'll take that. If you don't mind. I'll take yours as well. I will always hate dealing with these things. Mainly just because they could see from afar away. I'll take that. I'll take yours as well. A rank, really? Very good, Raiden. Now, keep heading for refinery. I know I'm playing on easy and everything, but still. I'm doing better than I thought I would be. Yeah, I figure it's not a coin with points. I don't want to back. At least we won't do anything. Alright, so yeah, for those chests you have to unlock them by pretty much cutting the log. And before we do anything... Oh, what, what button is it again? <laughs> I completely forgot. Wait. I want to actually manually save. Save me again, Courtney. <laughs> right. Anything else? Otherwise, I should get back. Actually, yeah. You mentioned SOP earlier. How much do you know about it? The Sons of the Patriot system? Same stuff as anyone else in the industry, probably. Basically, a nanomachine software combo for controlling contractors. 
Used to be required for all PMCs. Soldiers couldn't fire unless their ID matched their weapon and they had clearance. From their commanding officers. And the rules of engagement, I mean. It, it had some mental effects as well. Moderating pain, enhancing concentration, that sort of thing. The idea was SOP would minimize arms smuggling and civilian casualties. A kinder, gentler war. An oxymoron, any way you look at it. Civilian deaths did drop, though. Because soldiers in the system could coordinate in real time, share info. Between that and the ID weapon locks, a lot of people felt better about employing privatized military. <laughs> the irony is, the system was developed based on criticisms of PMC ops, mostly American interventions. SOP propaganda said it would put limits on the war market. <laughs> what it really did was shift market share over to the PMCs. Civilian deaths went down, but total casualties just kept on climbing. More than ever, war was big business. And business was booming. Until SOP got hacked. Suddenly, everyone realized how dangerous it was to have a single system controlling entire PMCs. That was the beginning of the end for SOP. Public opinion on privatizing war did a 180. After that, a lot of local conflicts and civil wars died down. The PMC conglomerates had to split up and downsize just to stay in business. And that about does it for SOP 101. Class dismissed. Not bad, Professor. But it's not the whole story. No, I know. Let's finish this later. I better keep moving. Yeah, we better keep moving. This will eventually us a lot of things to talk about at some point. At this point, we're just going in guns blazing. Because we have a lot of shit to deal with. But we will try and take... Ah, oh, I mess it up. I hit square level than circle. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'll take that. Who's next? Guess it's you. Of course you put us down here. Just feel like breaking up, guys. I forget there's a way to lock on. I think so. Yeah, we messed up. Oh, that was weird. So only there's a way to lock on and I just forget. These things are just so annoying. <laughs> I hate that they just jump around everywhere. Damn. Where'd he go? You gotta go down eventually, damn it. I feel like the camera's just killing it this way. And that angle was just bad. Fuck is he? 
Thank you, that's all I wanted. Some healing. That's what I was aiming for. I just summon you to own. Whatever the fuck they are. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. And we can't go up there. I'll take that. Uh, who's next? I does no one. This is just sad at this point, I feel. Ah, uh, whatever. That is something over there. I feel like every time I record these days, it's just non stop. The recording just glitching out of nowhere for no fucking reason. Even though I do reset the computer every time. Before I even start to record. So I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I just don't. Is that something over there? No, nope, I'm just saying that. Was... Whatever, let's just continue. Although I do feel like we need to save. Since I haven't like, since I haven't saved since the recording glitched last time. <laughs> and we saved at the beginning of that last person. So let's save again. And type the again most likely, yep. Yeah. I thought we'd get back to our little history lesson. What do you know about the Patriots? I know that they were behind everything we talked about before with the SOP system. People thought these 12 guys controlled world politics and the global economy from the shadows. And they were right. Except there weren't 12. And they weren't guys. Or even human. They were massive AI networks. All the better to gather information on a global scale. Or censor it if they wanted. They'd manipulate factions to keep wars raging, all while selling arms to both sides. The PMCs made billions too, of course. SOP was the Patriots' masterstroke. They could control battles directly, down to each individual soldier. The system might even still be around if the AIs hadn't all been destroyed. I'm impressed. You know your stuff. Not many people have even heard of the Patriots. More than when they were active. But still, not many. Almost no one knows they were AIs, or that they're the real reason SOP went away. Well, the few that do know aren't going to talk about it publicly. Even the world leaders. Especially the world leaders. The people would panic, assuming anyone believed them, which they wouldn't. You can find speculation on the net if you look hard enough. Some of them get pretty close to the truth, but the stories never made it into the mainstream. Just another conspiracy theory. I'm not surprised. It's a little hard to believe, you know? It just sounds crazy. When Kevin briefed me about all this in orientation, I thought it was some kind of BS detecting test. Not so. At some point we have to try and talk to the others. I'm not gonna bother to do so quite yet. a wireless transmission near your position. Uh, from the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. So thing.
Ja, das muss es anlag. We are missions if I recall. That's the only thing they do. I could just be missing my mind by nose. Possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay, then. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! Anyway, time to deal with the wolf. You will die. Which will come to know as that will. This fight definitely scared the hell out of me. When I was first trying to play this game. I will say that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose this anyway. Most likely. Backup required, huh? Good to know. I could use the healing.
I'll take that. Your intellect is far below. And he's back in the fight. There we go. I think I almost have. No matter what, Wolf here is definitely a pretty scary opponent in my opinion. At least when I first saw this game and first tried playing it. I use that gun. Coming from a backup, huh? Oh great. This thing. Oh, that's how you use it. I didn't see the button popped on top of it. Oh, well. At least we know now. I still have to admit though, this fight is still really cool. Despite the fact that it scaled me originally for quite a while, actually. Time to deal with all these guys. 
Let's see what up. Have we taken that? Let's open this up. I'll grab that. Not seeing anything else. Start. Let's keep moving. We don't want to fall off again. I think I got him that time. Yeah, I actually hate this spot to be honest. Mainly just because it's hard to take this guy out. I've got a few hits off. Oh, we can't progress any further. I finally see some more of these. Or oh, one more, at least. There's another. I really I missed my chance. Let's try again. I'm having a lot more difficulty with that. 
Two point one I spent over an hour on that. At least a few times. How the fuck did I do that that quickly? What the hell? Uh, I feel like this episode's been going on long enough. So I guess we'll just uh, save it. Call the pot. And hopefully things will go a bit smoother next time. I'm pretty sure we'll talk to her again, yep. do all of that. I can see why people would want all the money, but AIs? What did they stand to gain from it all? Who knows? Maybe they didn't even know. Optical neuro AIs aren't your typical PCs. They learn over time, change in unpredictable ways. The core AI, JD, was bent on expanding the war economy. Maybe to fund the Patriots' other activities. Or maybe that's just the way it evolved like a secondary objective that took over. One of the other AIs said it was created to filter out unnecessary information, gossip, trivia, all for the sake of future generations, to drive the evolution of the human race. Or so it said. Was that the truth? Or a lie? To manipulate me? Who can say? To think. Something like that. Running a nation. An America, no less. It's terrifying. Thank God they were all destroyed. But did it really change that much? Uh, maybe not. Contractors still gotta eat after all. Soldiering for hire's always been a risky business. But at least before it was good money. There was a decent chance you could get rich and retire early. All that disappeared during the SOP years. Demand was high, but the workforce was flooded. More and more soldiers were willing to work for cheap. It got so you'd have to work years before you could even pay back your initial training and insurance fees. Yeah, I can see Sundowner's point. Uh, the global recession certainly didn't help. Unemployment shot up across the US and the EU. Even if contractors gave up and packed it in, there weren't any jobs waiting for them back home. The irony is the recovery was all war-driven. It wasn't a general recovery at all. Not only did globalization exploit the poor countries, but it crippled first world employment, too. And SOP's gone. But now we've got these PMCs that are basically mobsters. Just thugs in uniform. Yeah. Not a pretty picture. That's what we are gonna call things here. So till next time, stay golden.